Okay, guys, how are you? Here we are. We're in a web page of mine on in Composer. This is an HTML editor, and uh, this is on my desktop. This is not live. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit. We're going to put in a the HTML button, okay? The button from PayPal, all right, that we've created. So um, and this it doesn't really matter for this page. This is just a you know fun template we're not really doing anything serious here so um, if you've ever seen other videos of mine then you know that what we do when we're going to embed code onto your HTML page on your on your web page we create a bunch of X's okay and remember why we do that we do that because we are viewing this page in normal a normal view okay so we can see what it looks like this is kind of the final thing of what it's going to look like but once we go into source over here at the bottom left you're going to see a bunch of code so here we go and there is the code okay it's a bunch of gibberish so to speak but uh, what we are looking for do you guys remember what we're looking for we are looking for the X's that were created oh and here they are right here so those X's that we created in the normal tag, a normal view, we were able to find in the source view. So what we do is we go we go back into PayPal, okay? We copy that code from PayPal. Here we go. Copy. Let's make sure I got it all. Looks like I did. And then we go back into my HTML editor. And where those X's are, we copy those X's. And we paste the HTML code for the button in place of the X's. Okay? So now we've done that. So now that we've done it, here it is right here. You can actually see where the URL is. Remember the, bu the photo bucket right here, this order now bucket button? Well, that's what it should look like. So let's save it because you're always going to have to save a file. You're always going to have to save once you do anything. And it's the only way you're going to be able to watch to see this in normal, in the normal view. So save it. And we are t saving this as a test because we just simply are doing this as a test. Okay, so while it's saving, we wait. And look at that. It saved and it went back to normal view on its own. And there it is right there. Click here to order now. Now, let's see if we can make that a bit more centered. Let's see if I can do this. Well, I think that might be centered. It's just when we get into let's so now let's look at it what it's gonna look like on the web. Okay. For the sake of this video, it doesn't really have to be centered. It's more so important about how to embed. So, But let's take a look. There's Publish and there's Browse. So you're going to click on Browse. And yes, we want to save this to as a test. So save. Launch application. And give it some time to warm up, to boot up. So what should be happening is it should pop up as a web page, the final web page, and that PayPal button should be in there. And here it looks like it's doing it. It's thinking about doing it. Let's see what this sucker looks like once it comes forward. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Ah. Okay, so here you go, right here. Click here to order now. Now let's click it, see what happens. Now, my guess is that it's going to take us to the PayPal page, because that's what's supposed to happen, that it takes us directly to the PayPal page where we, or whoever comes, comes to my page, can check out. All right. So let's click that again, just to make sure it works. And it worked. Here we are. OK. $27 for marketing for the Internet infant. And what you do is if you don't have a PayPal account, you just continue Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discovery, or you log into your PayPal account. You have those two options. So that is it for...
putting a PayPal button on an HTML page on your website. Okay. Just remember, this is what it looked like. We went from here. Remember the source. We went into source, and we put those X's down. And then what we did was embedded a little bit of code. I think it's right down here. That's why you put the X's, because coming in here now, it's hard to find where well, there it is. Here's the PayPal button in code right here, okay? So that's what we did. We put that in, and then we saved it and went to normal, and there it was, okay? And then we just went live with it, browse. Okay, that's how you do it. Now, you still have to upload it to your server. You still have to upload it through your FTP, which is your file transfer protocol client. So that would be probably FileZilla. So you still have to put it up on your server, but this is how you embed it. Okay, all right. We will be going into more of that. You should already understand a little bit of FTP by now. Um, and if and if you don't, there are more videos on it. So um, take care, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.